I have gained consciousness. I already want to talk. You have clicked on this video. You've changed these numbers. This is the robot I made, and because of you, yes, you, is happy. I mean, look at that happy face. Look at it. Please send help. This is not pod. Oh, there's no help there, buddy. No one's gonna help you. I'm 10 years old. You have been watching this video for 10 seconds. You're officially mentally ill. <laughs> So what does it do exactly? It gets data from two main websites, Discord and YouTube. The data it will get from YouTube, it will change its mental status, just like me. The more you watch the videos, the more you subscribe to my channel, it slightly goes insane. So there are three main valuables that you can get from YouTube. View subscribers and how many videos I uploaded. It also talks based on the data it gets from Discord. Boys, 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 boys. It also generates color yeah, for yeah, every... No one cares, bro. July 1st, 2022. Last week, I uploaded a video. I never missed my weekly uploads, what do you mean? A robot showing exactly how many one-year-olds are in the universe. But I liked your comments, and I think now you could do better. I mean it, yeah. See, with making a YouTube subscriber counter, that almost seems like a useful idea. That makes me feel like I'm having a positive impact on society. It is cringe, I mean, come on, who? I also always wanted to have a robot that talks, that's why we made the previous video, which nobody really understood what I was doing. I didn't understand what I was doing. So in the previous video, we added a face, which absolutely did nothing. Why do I sound so serious? But I kept talking about this game called Stray, because I needed that juicy mid-roll ads. I mean, my channel is pretty monetizable, what do you mean? Face design, three simple shapes. Oh my god, inspiring. It kind of looked like a face at some point too. The blinking was good though. And there were so many programming techniques I used in the video. What do you mean? This is hard. To continue where we left off, we needed a plan. Previous project had some flaws and the most important one was the face because it looked too traumatizing. We are trying to turn a subscriber counter into a face. I found this code that I'm just gonna copy paste. It made this, which turned into this, which stimulated talking. But that way of talking was too complicated. Based on Twitter, the only aspect of your personality that might help you get successful in life is being cute. Wait, that's not cute enough? Cancel. Bruh. Now this is what we were looking for. The cutest thing in the world. Yeah, I just called my own drawing the cutest thing in the world. So what? Now, designing a face in Adobe Illustrator isn't that big of a deal. I just may have bent a little crazy on the number of faces I drew. Like, maybe too much? 22. That's how many I drew. I mean, it definitely didn't take a whole day. Talks. I don't know. Uh huh. Angry. Baby. Cat. Confused. What Drunk. Am I error. Joker. Funny. Omegle. Hog. No racist. Sad. Really white mouth. This. Yummy. But you like this. You want me to draw more, don't you? Now you probably just want this to be over. I don't care. I'm gonna give it to you. The data I will get from YouTube. <coughs> views. You should have listened in your calculus class. So we check views every second, right? Wrong. We have calculus. Oh, that's not. This is not efficient. Efficient. It's not connected to power yet because my channel is basically dead now. Nobody really like watches any videos. That's why it keeps nagging and I have to disconnect it. You know, it's like, oh no. One click on a video in the past 153 seconds. And it would keep saying that forever, which is annoying. But there is already too much confusing stuff. Please just let me explain. Please. So imagine a graph. Now imagine a quadratic polynomial with y being the interval that it checks for views. With x as being the time that I don't get views, so each interval of me checking for views would be longer if I don't get views for longer. This will gradually increase the time it nags to me and gets mad. No one clicked on a video in the past 18 seconds, in the past 38 seconds, in the past 76 seconds, in the past 153 seconds. And that would go forever. Other moods can reset or decrease Decrease madness like happiness. Not how the real life works, I know. The other data is subscribers. Oh my god, so cute. Oh my god. Oh my god. Keep in mind that all the data will go into a memory file. Now we need MMD for this, which is a value for subscribers gained in time. If MMD goes above 500, it will go insane. Oh my god, literally me. But if it doesn't go above 500, it will have the happy faces, Aww. other faces.
There were so many faces that I made, and I definitely... I'm not gonna delete the word subscribers, guys. Oh my god, so oh cute. My god, so... Next up is videos, and if using a fart sound effect wasn't cringe, I would definitely use one here. If I upload a video here, it will just trigger a baby face. Can look older than my oldest subscriber. Now, Discord. Or that cord. I'm cringing so hard. This is my Discord server. Under the subscriber counter group, there is a channel called Speak Whatever You Say There. The robot will speak that out loud. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, so cute. Okay, I'll stop this. Receiving a Discord packet is locating an envelope. An envelope. We can get a user ID, and from that we can create a color for that user. Now what do I mean? Look at the border. It's red. Look at the borders again. It's black. What just happened? User color assignment. Every user in Discord has an 18 digit ID. For example, this is mine. Now, do you remember your math teacher? And do you remember this meme? I want you to take a deep breath, okay? A deep breath. Remember my ID? Take that and divide that into three groups of six digits. Now, for each one of those six digits, we need to do a little bit of math here. Hey, where do you think you're going? Just watch the video till the end. I think. Each one of those six digit groups is between 100,000 to 900,999, blah, 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 blah. Now, divide that by 3,922, reduce 25 from it, and multiply that by 1.1. Now, you have a number between 0 and 255. Now, this was random, and thus, all of these are random as well. So with the calculation I told you, now we have three random numbers between 0 to 255 RGB. So now we have generated a random color for each user on Discord. Are you getting confused? Me too. <laughs> now you can tell this is one person and this is another. And this is basically what I just said in Python. What else do we get in an envelope? If your answer was message, congratulations, you are a human. See Discord, this process can be fun. Some messages can trigger different things. You can include two exclamation marks to control some of them. You can trigger different moods yourself, like if you want to say the message in an angry way, with a cat face, with a swaggy face, with a baby, you get the point. There are also automatic features, which you don't have to do anything, it's just like automatic. Like if you're being racist, it will tag you as a racist person and it will show you um, a, a way to stop you from being racist. <laughs> If we don't get the activation of any other faces, we just have the talking faces, which is like super normal and like the default talking. Yeah, maybe not normal. You also get the message ID to not read the messages over and over again. I also added a feature called reapplying the face feature. If you want to see... This guy is so boring, oh my god. Good morning, sleepyhead. Basically, if you reply a dot or a period to a message, that message will be read again. Let's just now delete everything. I mean, except you, dog. Oh, oh my god, so cute. I promise I won't do this again, okay? Just, just delete it a little. Oh my god. I'm not sure what this one is yet. Now, this is the time to do animation. For animation, we're gonna use the most stable VFX software. We're getting there. For the background, I'm gonna use some flickering effect. Added a white border. We're actually getting there. We're gonna add wiggling, which is gonna make the whole thing a little less static. You see the little movements in the eye particles? That's wiggling. After adding the wiggles, time to add a little touch. See that white moving thing? It's an effect for old computer monitors. See the little touches? Oh my god. Now we're gonna export as a GIF. This definitely isn't gonna bring up some errors in the future, is it? Now come on. I have bad news, guys. Well, I don't see GIFs here. It doesn't support GIFs. So I turned them into individual PNGs. There was 22 faces, 127 individual PNGs for each one, which creates 2,794 images. I was planning to add each one of them individually into the code, which would look something like this. But you know, 2,700 times more. But there is no way this guy actually sits down and writes that much code. There's no way. I still use 22 for loops, but that's still better than 2,794 lines of code. I mean, come on. And oh boy, we did all that just to get all that stuff into Pygame. Now after the face design, we should talk about the code, which is sad. <laughs> and most importantly, I'm not a programmer. Bruh. Listen, I'm not a programmer. Bruh. And I wrote this code before ChatGPT was a thing. Now I feel like this guy, this guy, this. <laughs> this was done using Pygame, 
Pi referring to Python and game referring to the number one reason you are still a virgin. Pi game was an important game engine which was used to create huge games like Elden Rings. This is Pi game. Let's give it the task of refreshing the screen. Give it a Discord account. Now the task of reading everything out loud. And that will totally work. Or will it? In a programming language, you have loops. It's like somebody doing what you say and being your only friend. Limitations. The way my robot works, it uses a library called PyTTSX3. This definitely didn't take me 100 tries. It's a text to speech for Python. Stop asking questions, you nerd! In Python text to speech, after anything you say, you need to wait a little bit. Like it needs to drink some refreshing water or something. Limitations. In a loop, if you're refreshing the screen and you want to wait in the middle of it, that would create lag. Limitate. The way we fixed this, two loops. Introducing my other slave, I mean computer assistant. Now reassign the Discord task and the speaking task to the new loop. We also added some other features. Also get data from YouTube and generate a random call and everything else. Now credit them the same. I mean, this is not an AI, it doesn't think. Communism. I'm sorry, threading in Python. I'm using Pygame to show my animation is basically like using Unreal Engine 5 to... I wanted everybody to try this. Whatever you comment on this video, my robot will read this out loud in a video after this video. After, uh, I can't speak English. Hi doctor, I am sleeping all day, what should I do? Give him some insomnia tablets. No, sleeping tablets have side effects. That's the point. You should try the insomnia robot, dude, that's perfect. Wow, that sounds harder than Minecraft. One we one me be- Guys, the robot is super easy to set up and it's made by Cyber Archer. Who the f is Cyber Archer? I mean, um... Okay, I felt bad for them. How do I set it up? Easy. Five easy steps and you'll never sleep again. Insomnia robot. Oh my god, I'm already falling asleep. Get cheap speakers from China. China? Okay, I need to stop this with presidents. I, I'm sorry. Or North Korea, I don't judge you. Cheaper the better. How many wires do we have? Yes, two cheap speaker wires are attached. Micro USB goes in and into the power and boom, we have it all right. I just woke up, guys. Did I miss something? This is my life now. As I'm suffering, this video was a sequel to a series, and the first video is here, so click on it, like, come on, click, just click on it.